Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Don't let them pick guitars and drive them on trucks. Let them be doctors and lawyers and such. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Let's close, let's get the key, and let's turn this mother out. Uh, uh, uh. Hey guys, we're closed. We got it, boom. Okay, we're at Nana's. We're gonna have a great feeding and we're gonna celebrate. And then we have something special coming up. Daddy, she's so hungry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's so hungry. <laughs> so the feedings are up. They're feeding four times a day, and they might get a little snack, but they're eating more each time, so we're maxing out, so that's good. Every one of them is eating as much as they can get and growing like little weeds. Yay! <laughs> you having fun at Nana's? It's a little wet, guys. Shogu. So you know we have these babies named, Cherokee's na Cherokee names. Baby number one is Shogwu. Baby number two, Little Miss Thing there, is Tali. And then baby number three is our buckling, that is Joey. Where are you going? Where are you going, Rugrats? Woo! So I'm headed next to my uncle's house. And I have something very special that's being given to me that I'm gonna share with y'all. And we're, I'm so super excited. Here we go. Did you get a picture from here? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pinch your fingers. I'm getting a picture right now. And I'm coming over. There's no telling. Look at the inside. It's like almost, un isn't that amazing? I need to get you a, a, a good, a, just a rag. Yeah. And wipe the inside out. Just I had a bunch of stuff in That's, there. I, I will, I'll sh we'll shine it up. We'll make sure it's done right. I'm gonna sit down here and I'm gonna well, tilt it towards it. So we're at the new house and the footage that you're seeing or have seen, depending on how I put this video together, is this beautiful cedar chest. And it is amazing to have this. This is um, my third great grandmother, the one that is buried four miles from here. This is her cedar chest. My great uncle has had this for over 30 years. It's been passed to him from his mother, my great grandmother. And uh, she was fabulous and a very important part of my life. And prior to that, it went to an aunt, a very important aunt in the history of our family. She took care of everybody. So it's my great, great grandfather's sisters, but it actually belonged to their mother who was born in 1867 and I just feel so bonded to her. I'm not gonna cry anymore. I've already had my crying spell. <laughs> um, so if you, when, you, when I opened it, as you can imagine, you know, we took the cover off and it was cleaned up some. And when I opened it, this, it was just like, I can't even explain the sensation and the cedar. It's the cedar that it just all around. And cedar is so important. And so this is just a very treasured item. I also got some family Bibles. I can't wait to sit down and look at them and an antique rolling pin that belonged to that aunt. And then I got something else very special, which I was totally not expecting. So I don't know if I've talked about this picture before in a video. I know I've had it on social media. This is a picture from approximately 1918. So it's over a hundred years old. This is Camp Gordon in Georgia. 
and it is World War I, and my great-great-grandfather, if you can get past the fan reflection, is in this, and he was in World War I, so the, the lovely grandmother that I got the cedar chest, at her, her cedar chest today, this is her son. This is my nana, my nana's grandfather, and, you know, he was an intricate part of everybody's life, big time. So I had this framed for my uncle. This is an, the actual photograph. Nashville was wanting to get their hands on it, and I didn't want to give it up. So anyways, we had some copies made. So I had this print put into a beautiful mat and framed for my uncle. And he said today, he said, it needs to go in your house. So it's been a special, special day. Honey, you make the cutest model. Sisters. Oh my gosh, brother! Well, no, Daddy. Look, brothers joined in. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, Shogu, man, she she don't waste no time. Woo. <laughs> okay, house is closed. I got the chest in the house. The picture. We've had a quick dinner, and now we are at Sequoia Birthplace Museum. My Cherokee language classes start back tonight with Miss Lou. Wait, wait, is, is it filmed? There it goes. Okay, now. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll just go over them. If there's one that you don't understand or don't remember, let me know, and uh, we'll go back over it because uh, some of these words that, especially this first page, is what you really need to know because you're going to be using them every day. Do you and you're going to hear it called go. Or a jump. The jump. The jump. When Eli Yui. Eli Yui. We said hello. Hello. Eli Yui. Eli Yui. Eli Yui. Eli Try, Hanerta, Count, Tashega, Ashia, Woman is Ageya. How are you? Or you are doing good, aren't you? Or see, would you? Tell me, Skinohishi. No, Hadi, Ski, thank you. I don't know, Gesti, you got ta? Ask me, Ski to the Hugger. This, yeah, won't have to do Right, this is just repeat. Say, say it, can we? Tolly, Tolly, no y'all. You don't necessarily have to put the two in it. The verb can be plural. Oh, and uh, I remember now. <laughs> 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 you can say more than one. The brown dog and cats and Nolan. Who don't hear you? See, who don't hear you? Really, really. Okay, that's the. Do 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 we are blessed with a wonderful closing. We are blessed with my great, great, great grandmother's chest. Oh my gosh. And Miss Lou, thank you so much. <sighs> great day, busy day. We're on a great adventure. I have so many people here tonight in my class. They're like, I can't, you, they're so excited. I mean, this is such a wonderful journey getting back to our roots. And I thank you for coming along. We're gonna continue with the vlog and I'll keep you updated. We have painting. We have things going on with the house. It's just, again, it's a process. Moving and buying a home is all a process within itself. And then when you have things to do there, so we're gonna try to get some projects done before we actually move big furniture in. And that may take a couple of weeks, I don't know. But the goal is to get there as soon as possible because that's where our heart is. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next video. Love you guys so much.